Hey, what's up, guys? It's T-Bone here, and welcome to the first episode in a new series that I'm creating uh, for beginners playing through Legendary Game of Heroes. I played this for a while now, and uh, what I wanted to do was actually start a new account and play the game from the beginning, uh, go through the different levels, and sort of talk about uh, things that are important when you're just starting out. So the focus isn't going to be on all of the feature uh, events just yet, but rather on the other aspects of the game as you're starting out, and how do you build yourself up to the point where you can be more competitive in the game. And uh, I, I looked around, and I didn't, I didn't see a lot of very um, helpful content for beginners, and I've always wanted to do something uh, like this. So I'm excited to start the series. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, give me feedback and let me know uh, what your thoughts are. So what I've done is I downloaded the game and I'm starting now. I just uh, started the game and this is the first uh, place that they'll take you to. Immediately what they do is they take you in for a fight and they introduce three types of heroes. And so what you see here is uh, you have uh, your enemies here. Uh, I'm pointing at them right now. And these are your uh, the these are your heroes that you start with that you can use to attack. So you can see that uh, you have a blue uh, unit here and um, each color represents an affinity uh, or in this case an element. So blue represents water, uh, red represents fire, and green represents earth. All of these uh, units will have uh, strengths and weaknesses against different colors. Water is, strength, is stri uh, strong against fire, fire is strong against earth, and earth is strong against water. Uh, the, the enemies that you're fighting right now are um, a different element, it's light, and it is neither weak nor strong against uh, any of these three colors. And the way you play this game is just like any match three game. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to match your gems that represent the color, and whatever color gems you match, if it, if it matches the color of the heroes you have, then they will actually build attack. And so you can see if I just started with uh, one, one match, I'm matching a green here. It will actually then um, cause the green unit to attack. And the, the trick about this game in Legendary is that you can do more than one match, and that is the goal here to match more than once so that you can maximize the attack. Since I have uh, all three colors here, I'm going to start and do a match of all three colors. So let's do that. And uh, you'll see some... Um, you see some hearts here. What they are uh, for is to heal your health. So if you match uh, any hearts, uh, you can see that I took some damage there. And so if I match some uh, heart gems, then I will uh, receive some health after I uh, match them. So you can see that all three of my units are attacking and uh, my health is restored back to 120. And we just defeated uh, wave one of two, and this is the final boss. Uh, final battle right now. Uh, Stark Catrick Devora is a dark unit. Okay, so similar to the light, this unit is not weak or uh, strong against any of these three, but it is light, uh, weak against light heroes. And you can notice that my green hero right now, uh, your no nomad, has um, is flashing. That means that it has accumulated enough um, as you as you as you match gems it fills up a gauge. And when the gauge is full, uh, you'll see this light up. And what it does is it allows you to use a battle skill. And you can, if you press and hold onto the unit, it tells you what it does. So the battle skill Poison Blade attacks all enemies for 200% of attack for two turns. And so, it, and you can see here it says charge rate 12 gems. That means it requires 12 gems to be matched before this is going to be um, uh, activated. And there's a cooldown of two turns. So after using it, you need to wait at least two turns or more before you can use it again. All right, so let's go ahead and press on it. And the way you activate it is just click on the hero and see what happens. So you can see right now it attacked the, the unit uh, using the uh, battle skill and dealt a little bit of damage. And now we can go ahead and continue to match our other gems like we have done earlier. And then... Um, and you can see what I'm doing here is I'm matching as many gems as I could. And you notice that on the bottom there's a combo counter. So the, uh, as the gems cascade and they continue to match, uh, the combos will, in, will the combo counter will go up. And that will be a multiplier for all of the damage that you accumulate. So the more combos you can generate, uh, the, the, big, the bigger the, the damage. Right? So that's the basic gameplay. And that's the first thing they do. This is an introduction uh, 
uh, introduction to the game, and that's a tutorial. Now you'll notice that it, you got gems and gold. These are the two important currencies in the game that I will talk about. And then the next thing that you're going to, to uh, see is uh, choosing a leader here, uh, where you get to pick one of the three legend cards, uh, leg legend cards that are available. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, you have Earth Hero, Dojin, uh, Water Hero, Keta, and Fire Hero, Ray. So I personally, uh, I really enjoyed Ray. Uh, because I like fire-based heroes, but really you can pick whatever it is that um, you think will be, um, you know, something that you like, whatever your preference may be. So let's just go ahead and pick one. I'm going to go ahead and pick Dojin, just to be a little different. And so I'm going to have an earth-based hero, and you'll see that this earth hero uh, eventually can evolve into Dojin Unleashed, and we'll talk about how this works. So let's go ahead and open this now. And this is basically opening a pack that contains a guaranteed legend unit. And when you when you tap it and open it, you'll see that it is a balanced legend card. And then look, you can look at the number of stars on the bottom. There are six total slots for stars, and two of them are highlighted. That means this card currently is a two-star card with the possibility to go up to six stars. Every time you go up a star, uh, the base damage will go up, and also the, the level count will go up. So right now at 2 stars, the maximum level for this unit is 15. But as you go up in stars, then the level count will go up, and you can get more damage, more health, more recovery, etc. So now that we have uh, Dojin as our uh, leader card, you can now go ahead and build a deck. So the way you build decks is uh, whatever card you put into the middle here, that's going to be your leader card. And so let's go ahead and tap Dojin as our leader card. And now uh, leader cards have specific bonuses. So if you tap on the card and you tap it again, you can see the back of the card. And you scroll down here, it will you'll notice there's something that says leader skill. So the leader skill only gets applied when this card is in the middle of the deck that consists of five, five possible cards. And it provides 120 damage and, and HP or health for all earth heroes. So this will apply to any other green heroes, including itself, right? And there's a power up button option here. So when you, when you power up, this is what you use to uh, increase the level count. And you can take a card and then you can see uh, if you, right now it's free, you can get, you can gain a 300 XP and you'll notice that you can go up to level three with this power up. So let's go ahead and do that. And then testing your fate, is just a way to gamble how much additional uh, XP you'll get. And so we got a 100% additional bonus. And so with that, we are going to jump up to level 4 instead of level 3. Okay. And so now we, this is how you level a, a character, just by sacrificing a card to um, to level it up. And now we can go into the game, th game, uh, game playthrough here. So now you're entering the main uh, view of the game itself. So this is this is you. You notice on the top left you're rank one, and then the main campaign really is where you want to go. So you'll see here everything else is grayed out. As you uh, level up, it will unlock for you. So you can see scavenge one and craft potions unlocks when you're rank three and four. And the way to gain ranks is to play through the game itself through the main campaign. There are other dungeons available, but uh, it will only be available for you once you're actually higher in. In level okay so let's go ahead and do the main campaign first so we'll play through one level and then uh, let's see what's next so let's go in and uh, go through the level here and what you can do is uh, you can select additional cards to help you out and the way they do this right now because you don't have any uh, friends in the in the game and you haven't joined any guilds yet these are other players that have just started as well, and you can choose their cards to help you with. Since I have Dojin as a leader, I want to pick a uh, Earth. I want to pick a um, Earth-based hero to help me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle. It's going, and you can see here lightning uh, sign that is a stamina. The way you can tell how much stamina you have is uh, up on the top right. You can see I'm at currently 200 stamina out of 31, and let's go ahead and battle. And stamina will be used every time you battle, but as you, uh, and it gets replenished in two ways. One, if you rank up, and two, if you uh, just let it go, 
uh, over time it will build up um, every few few minutes okay so let's go into the first official battle in our main campaign so this is uh the very first main campaign level and now you can see on the top there's three waves so we'll apply the same uh the same thing here and let's go through and uh, go through go through the three waves and here they talk about power gems so this is just like in the, any any match three if you match five or more gems you'll get a special gem that uh, gives you stronger um damage and it says here power gems are extremely valuable and you can notice that it's um, indicated by a Roman numeral in the middle. And if you use them in a match, they will attack everyone at once, and you will get a boost in your damage. Okay, so that's definitely one way to do it. And you can see uh, we're going to we have the um, the gems right now in a um, orientation that you can actually create um, power gems. And I'm actually going to create two of them. So watch what I do here. Okay, so you can see here. I just created three different power gems using three different configurations, and you can see that they have different um, numbers, one, two, and three. The other one got matched by uh, as part of the dropdown. But the numbers represent um, strength in the power gems. So the more um, the more gems you, you connect in your very first uh, connection, the bigger the number is going to be. So I will show you again. So if you just match these six, you'll get a match one. And then if you get another one, then this is going to be a, a type two uh, or, or a uh, power gem two. So this is going to be more, uh, it's going to be a stronger uh, power gem compared to the one. And another thing that you can do, I will show you right now, is you can also do, uh, I messed that one up, so because I didn't want to kill the unit just yet. But unfortunately, I think I'm not going to be able to do it. But what I try to do is I try to put the two power gems next to each other. There's a special thing where you can actually swap the two power gems together, and you can actually uh, provide even more damage uh, that way than if you just matched it by itself. Um, but as it stands, right now we just defeat it. And then through this, we're going to get our victory. And this is where we're going to get our rewards. We'll get three stars here, and we we ranked up. And oh, looks like there is a bug here with all the rewards that we got here. So the first thing is, um, if you don't see it that, if you don't see this, there's a button that you can use to uh, then add this user as a friend, and you get a notification, and you can continue. So that's the first level, and we're just going to play through the first level here, and then I'm going to talk about uh, some of the other things. So guilds, you'll want to join a guild as early as possible, and it says that uh, win three, three more battles, and you'll be able to unlock a guild. So once you unlock a guild, you'll be able to join, and that's where you can get a lot more benefits, because then you can have other people helping you out. All right, so this is the very first playthrough here, and you know I just wanted to talk about other things to to consider before I log off here. So you'll see if you explore through the game here, you'll notice a store here, and then there are some things that you can see. There's a starter pack for $4.99. Do not buy it. I don't personally think that it's worth it at all. Instead, save the gems as much as possible. As you play through in the beginning, you're going to earn a lot of gems and save them until you're high enough level to actually play in an event. We will go through that, and I'll talk about um, the strategies for which uh, how to spend your gems. So that is that is pretty much the uh, it for the very very first episode of this um, this video. Just wanted to go through a very easy uh, simple playthrough. Again, this is intended for 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 uh, people who are new to the to the game. Hopefully, this is helpful. Let me know if you how you feel about the pace. I can definitely pick it up, and I have other videos. In my in my channel that talk about more uh, advanced play and so uh, let me know what you think the right balance is okay so uh, that's all for this video in the next episode we're gonna go through and talk about joining a guild and how to use the um, how to use the guild for your advantage and how to build your cards so that it's more powerful okay so thank you for watching and I will see you next